Four years ago, I went to Hawaii with Jess, a good friend of mine. We saw all sorts of things. On our first morning after arriving in Maui, we were headed to the Waihee Ridge Trail. At the parking lot, we were greeted with beautiful bright green hills and the vibrantly blue ocean in the distance. <laughs> we saw some strange looking giant swan milkweed, and then we made our way onto the trail. The open hillside almost looked like a Mediterranean landscape with its distant pine trees. From the open hills, we entered a more forested area. Here, there was much more vegetation, including Indian raspberry, shelf fungi, and beautiful trees. The forest was also full of cook pine trees, which had a unique appearance. They look like Dr. Seuss trees, kind of, because they're all curved and they have these like knobs in them, the little segmented patterns. So far, the trail had been full of wondrous plants. And now, as we climbed higher, it opened up onto the ridge tops, presenting us with an incredible view. In the distance, mist rolled between the hills, and waterfalls gracefully glided down the cliff sides. And up ahead, I saw a curious little plant. I saw that purple thing down there, and I thought it was like a metal guard rod for some <laughs> garden decoration someone stuck in the ground. It's like an actual frond. It's like a branching fern. And it looks like it has these like, so like the purple one is the main frond. And then these things just like have tiny branching ones. Ferns are cool. As it turns out, this was the Aluhe fern. We kept hiking, greeted by amazing views of distant hills and the open coast below. We climbed further into the mist of the clouds that enveloped the hilltops. When we reached a clearing, we gazed back at the hills and the ocean that were now far below us. This is an incredible trail. It's That's freaking beautiful. Thing. It's like everywhere you look, it's just freaking breathtaking. Like at one part of the trail, you had like these incredible foggy jungle, mountain valley forests with like rivers and waterfalls for, at a distance. On the other side, you have like bright green and the blue of the ocean, but we're super thirsty. So we're gonna turn around and uh, <laughs> we were telling ourselves we had to get water, but then we like pass all the gas stations and we were like on the mountain road and like, uh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Back at the trailhead, we came across a botany class and learned a few things from the teacher. So apparently all these beautiful trees with their like, the bark kind of looks like sycamore to me or to, like the rainbow tree. They've got these really waxy looking leaves, simple margins. Anyway, apparently this is guava. It's an invasive plant here. I really wish I had a class like that in high school and I, I would have realized that I was into plants much sooner. But uh, our biology classes were not as exciting. Hiking in Hawaii, learning about plants. Speaking of guava, I really want some guava juice. <laughs> yeah, give me some pogs. Super thirsty. Okay, one more quick botany moment before we botany. prevent our dehydration. 
These are our passion flowers over here. Super awesome. There are all sorts of species of passion fruit, but many of them have flowers that are just as extravagant looking as this one. We made our way back down the trail towards our car, where we were greeted with an expansive view of the blue ocean horizon. The earth is definitively not flat. Pretty sure you can see the ocean curving just a little bit. Hope that's still not a controversial issue. <laughs> it's controversial, Andy. Whew. That was a great hike. Would have done the whole thing if I weren't dying of thirst right now. <laughs> I want a cold drink so badly and it's gonna taste so good. And so, we made our way back to our hotel, which thankfully had refreshments. They have the sweet nectar in the lobby. We were greeted with complimentary ice-cold Hawaiian punch and water. Oh, oh that's so good. Whew. We both guzzled down several cups of the life-giving liquids. And then, it was on to our next destination. Okay, we're now on our way to a luau. What I expect is various people dancing with grass skirts and lays, pig roasting thing, lots of food maybe being cooked in the ground covered by leaves and stuff, lots of torches, many tourists sitting watching the action happening on a stage. Is that? More or less, yeah. Have you been to one before? Yeah. Oh. I was like 12 or something. And it's like outdoors, the tourists sit underneath like some sort of a balcony thing, a canopy. For some reason that's... I feel like I've seen that in some movie or something. I had never been to a luau, but had a picture of what to expect based on what I'd seen on TV. Reality certainly did not disappoint. At the luau, we met with Jess's family, and his dad commented on my constant filming. Yeah. You'll have a sweet home video, you yeah. don't even have to edit it. Yeah. Most people don't edit those, I guess. But. Little did he know, it would take four years for me to start editing these videos. There you go, sir. Thank you. Aloha. Finally made in Hawaii. We sat at our tables with our drinks, fully embracing the touristy decadence. Nearby, one of the staff members husked a coconut with an uniu, or a husking stick. There was also a great view of the ocean. Jess and I wandered around before sitting to enjoy more of our drinks. Eventually, staff members unveiled the pig they had been roasting underground, and they made sure the audience participated in a special way. Okay, I'm gonna teach you guys one more. Everyone say, chi! 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 Now it sounds just like this. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Beneath a cover made of banana leaves was a perfectly roasted pig, head and all. As the sun set and the alcohol set in, I enjoyed the colorful sights and smells all around me. Once the sun set, it was time to eat. This luau had a fantastic selection of food, including traditional style poke, poi, kalua pork, and of course, the sweet coconutty chicken luau. How's the food, by the way? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> we were also greeted to a beautiful platter of desserts. Brownies with sea salt, lemon lavender cookies, passion fruit cakes, and hapia, the coconut jello. I mean, this is almost like dessert for me. Yeah, it's delicious. Now, the show began. An outdoor performance of traditional hula dances.
Couples were also invited to dance. Jess's sister and her fiancé went up to join. As the performance went on, it became even more lively as dancers told the story of the discovery of Maui. So tonight became a man, yeah, laid by a man, <laughs> ate some pig, roasted in the ground. Overall touristy things, but it was super fun. It was now late at night, but the adventure wasn't over. In the middle of the night, we were headed to Haleakala, Maui's highest mountain, to watch the sun rise from above the clouds. But that's a story for another time. Thank you so much for watching. More Hawaii videos are on their way, but in the meantime, be sure to check out our full episode where the entire Adventure Archives crew goes hiking in Hawaii. And remember to like the video down below and subscribe to our channel. And consider signing up on Patreon to support more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for your support.